John Slaughter is a man who, he's an adventurer, and he and, and uh, Isabel take off from New York with their father's money to ostensibly build a railroad, a branch line for his father. And he uses, he skims that money and he turns it into, throws it into a mine that he's going to uh, make their, you know, they're going to become wealthy. They're going to become wealthy beyond all imagining with this mine. Um, but things go wrong and uh, dreams remain unfulfilled and uh, John Slaughter is really destroyed uh, and their relationship is really destroyed by the place, which is nothing. Janestown is a camp. It's nothing more than a camp. It's the dream that these two have wanted to make together. It falls apart in a, in a terrifying way. And he commits a, a horrendous crime uh, in the very first episode that he pays for and tries to redeem himself for in the course of, of, the, of, of the series. And he ends up, in fact, becoming a kind of confessor, a redeemer figure for these three ladies here who need a hell of a lot of redemption given what <laughs> they're up to by the end of the of the season. So he's uh, a wonderful guy, actually, Aaron. <laughs> so. But when we meet him, as you will meet him right now, that's not so obvious. Let's take a look yeah. at Aaron Poole as John Slaughter. Father sent the payroll through? Uh, no, sir. Not this time. Not last time, either. I get that money somehow, Captain. No two ways. Uh, I hear you had a collar north, sir. We got doctors on the stage if they're needed. Not too late for doctors. Where are the girls? I'll take them out. Seems they run off, sir. It was the girls you had charge of. and I will have them. You, come here. Come here. Go ahead. Search the wagons. Come on, God damn it, the rest of you. Take off your bonnets. Let me see your faces. Get him. Thomas. <laughs> you be a man, you walk into a horror house, you see these virgins and angels descended. Maybe payroll don't matter for a week or two. Maybe your investors swell. And so with their investments, maybe you don't acquire your pa's dollars. Captain Slaughter, I'm Mrs. Fogg. You were to deliver me to Janestown two days past, but you never came. You left me with no means to feed myself. Oh! Oh! <sighs> now, Laurie, before you said poor Aaron at the beginning, but Aaron, he looks really fun to play. Tell us about your experience. Um, well, you didn't really get a sense of his multi-dimensionality from that clip. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's that's uh, that's the entrance of the character, and I think I think what's cool about the show is you have all your expectations for uh, these Western icons met, but then uh, details start getting painted in. So it's like taking a coloring book, the typical outline, and instead of coloring, you're, you're doodling and tracing and going deeper into fractal stuff. So for John, uh, his moral uh, struggle is something that uh, Laurie has really encouraged me to explore. And that became an existential and a spiritual one. And uh, uh, we're still in the middle of shooting, so 
that's uh, it's it's going okay. <laughs>